Hi guys, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. As you all know, my name is Victor. In this video, I'll be discussing ways you can get a mortgage as a migrant living here in the UK with minimum 12 month residency on a pre-settlement visa. This is something most migrants doesn't know about and what they do is keeping someone else's mortgage as a form of rent. So in this video, I'll be explaining to you some of the eligibility criteria that you need to meet before you can be able to secure mortgage here in the UK. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are coming across this channel for the first time, in this channel, I give latest updates on ways you can migrate to United Kingdom through the skilled workers migration route, study route, and ways you can settle in when you arrive in the UK. Ways you can gain value for money as a migrant living here in the UK within a short period of time. So if you find this content interesting and you gain value through this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to join the amazing Evergreen family. You can leave a thumb up so YouTube can recommend this content to a wider audience. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. As a migrant living in the UK, if you've been in the UK on a pre-settlement visa and you've lived here for a minimum 12 months and you've not had the thought of securing a mortgage, you are not doing yourself a favor, right? Mortgage is one product that do not add additional burden to your cost of living. Because as a migrant living in the UK, just like every individual that lives here in the UK, you need a house, you need a home that you will live. And if you don't have a house of your own, you need to pay rent to somebody. That is to say, you need an apartment that you'll be paying rent on a monthly basis. Many at times, the amount you pay in form of rental value to occupy that property for a period of time, that amount is being used to service the mortgage towards owning the property in the future. So of what value will that be to you? You are only servicing someone else's mortgage towards owning it in the future. You can as well channel that amount you are paying in form of rental value to your own property and own it in the future. This is something most migrants do not know about. And even if you know about it and you approach your bank or some of the main street lender, because of your limited stay here in the UK and your visa status, they will tell you it's not possible or some will require you to pay minimum 25% of the mortgage value which is really difficult for you to raise such an amount. But if you've lived here in the UK for a minimum 12 months, I can assure you that you can secure a mortgage with 10% deposits. This is the update I'm sharing with you. You can get a mortgage as a migrant living here in the UK with 12 month residency on a pre-settlement visa. You can get mortgage with 10% deposit. I have a team of mortgage advisor that I can link you to, right? They will help you to process the mortgage from start to finish. But before I do that, I will first of all check your affordability and eligibility criteria to ensure that you meet the face value of the requirement before I can now refer you to the team to help you secure mortgage. Getting value for money starts with information. With the right information, you will not learn the hard way. With the right information, you will not waste your money because if you approach any of the main street lender, right, the first thing they will do, you need to pay a certain amount before they can start looking into your case. And once they look into your case and the possibility that you will be able to get a mortgage is not there, that amount is not refundable. That is the reason why before I refer you to the uh, team of mortgage advisor that I am currently working with, I will first of all run through the eligibility criteria and other affordability check to be sure that you are able to scale through, right? As a migrant living in the UK, if you are still paying rent to service someone else's mortgage while you've lived here in the UK for a minimum 12 months on a pre-settlement visa, you are not doing yourself any favor. Let me share a story with you. For those of you that are familiar with Facebook market, I saw an item on Facebook market and I decided to uh, go for it. I chatted the person that posted the item and we agree on how to meet to pick up the item. So 
when I arrived at the property, right, the address she gave to me, I saw a very young lady and she told me um, she is the owner of the item I want, I'm coming here to pick up, right? So we agreed on the price. I told her I will get a car to come and pick up the item. So she was now showing me some other item if I'm interested in it. So I was like, are you putting up everything for sale? She said, yes, even the property is on sale. I asked who is the owner of the property. She said she's the owner of the property. She looked very young. Initially, I was thinking maybe she's 22 or the likes. So she said she has been living there for the past five years and she owned the property. I'm like, wow, how old were you when you purchased the property? I was so curious to know about all of this. So we will now open up a different conversation, right? Because she's also a migrant living here in the UK, though she has been here for a pretty um, uh, much longer than myself. So she told me when she finished from university, she wanted to go and rent an apartment, right? But the parents said she should wait, stay at home, save towards getting a, a, a particular amount that you can put into your deposits, right, to get a mortgage. So that's what she did. So she, not, she stayed back in her parents' house while she was working. After graduation, she gained uh, an employment with a company and she stayed back in her parents' house, worked for one year. She saved towards the deposit she'll be putting to uh, secure uh, the mortgage. It will not make sense moving from your parents' house to go and rent an apartment and be paying rent towards servicing someone else's mortgage. She stick to that advice and stay back. She was able to work for one year and raise the amount she needs to put forward for her deposits, right? So at the end of the day, right, she was able to save the amount that is enough for her to put in for her deposits. So she said she has been living in that property for five years and now she want to move to join a partner who also own uh, a house within the city. And it will not make any sense for them maintaining two property. That is the sole reason why she's putting it up for sale. So I asked her how much did she um, purchase the property. Purchased the property, I think about 78,000 pounds as at five years ago. But as at today, she wants to put the property for sale at the rate of one hundred and forty-five thousand pounds. She lived in the property for five years, and now she's putting uh, putting it up for sale, right? And she will make a good chunk of profit from that same property. So she was now telling me, "I'm a migrant. The best decision I can make for myself and my family is to secure mortgage, right?" She said, "The house I'm currently living in, it will amaze me that somebody, the person that owns the property, is actually using the amount I'm paying to service." the mortgage towards owning the property in the future. This actually rose my curiosity and then I started researching. And to the glory of God, I've assisted some persons that are almost in this uh, last stage of completion owning their own mortgage. So as an international student or skilled worker who have lived here for minimum 12 months on a presettlement visa, you can secure a mortgage with just 10% deposit. So guys, if you're interested, you can leave a message on the comment box and we can take it up from there. So guys, what are you waiting for? As a migrant living here in the UK, the best decision we do for yourself and your family is to get a mortgage. It does not add additional burden to your cost of living. It does not increase your expense. It does not add any extra burden to you, but it gives you that peace of mind. No landlord will want to kick you out of the house with a short notice for you to start running it as scatter to start looking for a new apartment. This will give you leverage, right, to be able to do what you want to do in the property, design it the way you want to design, paint it the way you want to uh, paint it. You can relax with uh, your full mind at rest that nobody will come up to kick you out because as long as you live in the UK, you will definitely pay rent to somebody. If you're not paying rent to us, owning the property on the long run, you will be paying the rent towards um, somebody owning the property on the long run. So you, it's a decision you need to take now and the, the, the earlier you start doing it, the better for you, right? So guys, I said I should share this latest update with some of my audience who are interested in securing property in the UK. You can leverage on this information. If you're interested, you can leave a comment on the comment box and we can take it up from there. So guys, we've come to the end of this video. If you gain value for this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can share with your friends and contact. There are so many migrants who are living here in the UK that need this valuable information. Because if you go to your bank, you go to mortgage broker, they will tell you you need 25%. Some of them will tell you you need an indefinite leave to remain before you can be able to secure mortgage. But I'm assuring you with 10% deposit, 
with minimum 12 month residency here in the UK, you can secure mortgage. So guys, see you in my next video. Bye bye.